Welcome everybody. Don't forget, you can put your comments down below to what drills and tips will help your golf game. Today we've got Roy Harmon from Instagram and he asked me how he can improve and stop flipping this golf club through impact. Now, a lot of the time I see this club being flipped through impact when the arms and body don't match up in release and ultimately the body gets a little bit lazy. So we'd sort of see positions like this. Club being flipped off to the left or then we can miss it way off to the right and ultimately it's not going to be very consistent out on the golf course. So. I've got a drill set up today for you, Roy, that's really going to help you and everybody else flips this golf club for impact, get this body working a little bit more actively and allow these hands to be a little bit more passive through the release and not get this feeling of these arms rotating or rolling or flipping, whatever expression we want to use. Ultimately, let's create them a little bit more passive, a little bit of a forward shaft lean, stronger club face and less misses off to the left and off to the right. So what do you need here? So we've got a drill set up here where we've got one alignment stick, that is our feet line. And this is gonna be run parallel to your ball's target line. So it's very simple here. Imagine we set this one up, ball's target line and feet line. Make sure we've got those two parallel lines. Then roughly, without getting too much into science, I want this red line to roughly be 30 to 40 degrees open to this blue line, our feet line. And this is gonna illustrate where we want our hips to feel like they're pointing at impact. So, like we said at the first, at the start of the video, a lot of the time when I see people flip this golf club, I see this arms and this body stop. And this golf club has to pass the hands, we see the rolling of the face in order to save this club face. Stop it missing right or vice versa, then we hold it off and we miss it off to the right. It's very, very hard to actually facilitate a good release when this arms and body aren't matched up together. So, what do you want to do with this third alignment stick? I want you to place this through your belt rungs, okay? With more of it pointing out your lead side, so for a right-handed player, more of it pointing out the left. So, we're going to pop that through each of those belt rungs. Now, be careful here, we're going to hit a few shots of this, but only at slow speed. So the feeling we want to create is, like we just highlighted at the start of the video, that for people that flip this golf club, this arms and body aren't matched up and the body isn't very active through impact. So the feelings we're trying to create here is, as we're moving in transition, we're trying to feel as though our hips start opening up and our arms and body are then allowed to follow through. So if we categorised it before and said someone that flips the golf club would be quite stationary with the hips, it wouldn't be very much open to the target, and we'd see this golf club be flipping this way. Whereas a feeling I want you to create now is, that we're really feeling that our alignment stick is pointing down the red as we come up to impact. So imagine now we took a screenshot of impact and we wanted to create our perfect impact position. Start yourself at address, right, create the perfect impact position, a little bit of forward shuffling, way into the left, hips opened up down the blue. Now from here, we're gonna be in a strong, dynamic, athletic impact position, whereas from here, we know that this golf club's got to be flipped through. So let me show you that again. This is the feeling of position we're trying to create. How do we get there? This is the feeling. We've got to feel like these hips are more active and the body and arms will be allowed to follow too. So let's hit two shots with this alignment stick in and then let's hit one shot without it. So first shot, and I would recommend doing this at a slow speed, but ultimately at impact, we're looking for these hips to be pointing more down the red. And it's an important note here. As we move in transition, we're looking for a sequence to happen. We don't want the arms and body, upper body to move and the lower body to move at the same rate. We want to feel in transition, we start from the ground up. So we start from the lower alignment stick, then the upper body follows, and then the club follows. So it's a good sequence. And if you get the sequence right, it will definitely also add to the fact for a little bit of distance, but also add to the consistency of the move. So I want you to think about this as gears of car. For the first one here is I want you to operate in gear three. So we're roughly about 75% of your swing speed. So we're not going to hit this one very hard at all. All we're feeling we're looking to create is can we get the hips feeling and the body feeling a little bit more active through impact? And I want you to hold it off almost like a punch shot. So here we go. That one there, really nice. All I was feeling there is that I was a little bit more active with the lower half. So again, let's hit another shot with this in here, Roy. And I, I would definitely recommend doing this on the driving range before you're warming up, but also it acts as a really good awareness of what actually the body's doing. I think a lot of people don't realize what the body's doing and think it'll take care of itself. And ultimately, I think we've got to be a little bit more body aware and the club will actually work in a better way. So again, gear three for me here, right? Again, the feeling in transition, can we start from the ground up? And at impact, can we feel like our hips are pointing down the red? A little bit of forward shuffling and hold that punchy follow through. Let's hit this one now, Roy. And again, that felt really over-exaggerated, but I really was more aware of what my lower body was doing 
to actually facilitate and allow me to be a little bit more passive with the hands and stop this flipping of the golf club. Now, that's all well and good and we've got a good feeling with the alignment stick through our belt buckle because we're more aware of what's happening. But can we do that same feeling now without that there? So I like to feel that we, when we're practicing, right, we've got our kind of extremes. We've got our extreme movements here, so we're really looking to feel that we've got nice forward shaft lean, hips opening up to the target, and it'll really allow us to be a little more passive with these hands. So now let's see if we can create this same feeling without the alignment stick through, but with our framework on the ground. Let's hit this one now. So really feeling, what position do I want to feel? This, this. And don't be scared to, when you're playing, just remind yourself, what do you want to feel? Right, give me that feeling, hit that shot. Now, again, those three shots there, apart from being slightly different trajectories in terms of the first two from the last one, because a little bit more speed in the last one, we're actually were pretty consistent in terms of their line. And ultimately, the better we can move this body, the less flipping of this golf club we get, the more consistency we're going to be in terms of strike, but also in terms of club face alignment relative to our path and where that ball's going to go. Now, I would also say here, if we actually start working from the ground up, we might even improve the plane of our swing indirectly because a lot of the time, if we don't get this forward shaft lean, this club might be coming under plane, it might be over plane and flipping the golf club, holding it off. Whereas if we can start actually moving this body better, I often find that this club will actually react better and ultimately start working the way it should do for yourself. So there you go, Roy, you've got your framework. Remember, you've got three golf ball sets. The first one you're gonna start off with, the alignment stick through, 75% of your swing speed, gear three in the car. Really feeling like we get the hips pointing down the red once you've got the setup correct. And then finally, we're gonna hit one shot as if around the golf course, still with the framework on the ground, but really allow you to feel that the body is more active. And simple as this, if we get the body more active, it really allows us to create some forward shaft lean, but also allows us to stop flipping this golf club. Remember, if the body's not working, the body stops and feel a bit stiff, we may get a little bit more handsy to save this golf club. So let's now just show you this position, exactly what we're looking for at impact from the face on position. Like we highlighted, if the body's not very active, the hands can overtake the body and we can see the flipping of this golf club and the club face can either be open or closed. It's, it's very hard to actually control this. Now, what the positions we're looking for, remember we said from down the line before, could we remind ourselves of what we want to feel? So hips down the red, feel we've got some forward shaft lean and weight into the left hand side. Right, okay, that's the feeling we want to create. Start from the ground up. Feel it slowly. And I would actually just remind yourself in some slow moves here, can we get this body more active? And as soon as we get this body more active, the arms and body are more matched up in release. We're not flipping this golf club. Hips down the red. And just remind yourself of this in some slow moves. Build up to that shot now at the gear three. A little bit like that. So finally, I think that the last thing that would actually help you here and everybody who flips the golf club is that as we know we're trying to feel the arms and body all matched up in release, is that when we're practicing, can we feel that the head follows the body? Now, as soon as we get the head following the body and it's, it allows us to feel that we lack more rotation, whereas the head stays down, more likely this golf club's gonna flip. For me, that's the worst thing we can do. We can actually feel now in practice, hips down the red, can the head follow the arms? And this will really allow us to sync everything up to achieve that nice punchy follow through as a first part of the drill basis. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I know this was tailored to Roy and his request on Instagram, but don't forget, this has hopefully helped you all at home. And if you're someone that flips the golf club, this will definitely help you improve your golf game. Remember, it's a simple setup. Once you get the setup right, all you've got to do is hit some shots and be body aware. And this will really allow you to facilitate less flipping of this golf club. Thank you for watching guys. Don't forget to put your comment down below on what tips and requests will help your game. Subscribe and see you next time on Alex Elliott Golf.